Thank you for tuning in to the Doing Business with God podcast. Hey, you. Yes, you. I am your host, Michi Renee. It is Michi's passion to help you live your best life and do business God's way. Michi will be talking about entrepreneurship, manifestation, monetization, mindset, beliefs, starting and growing a business, nonprofit, or ministry, all while serving God. So welcome to My Daddy's Business. It's time for the show. It's the Doing Business with God podcast with your host, Michi Renee. Hello, tribe. Welcome back to another episode of the Doing Business with God podcast dedicated to helping you do business God's way. In this episode, I will be talking about self-care for the everyday woman. People often think about self-care as going to the spa, taking a bubble bath, getting your hair done, going on a retreat. Those things are self-care and those things are great, but they aren't practical for the everyday woman. As many of you are busy moms, you're a wife. So we're going to be talking today about 25 ways that you can actually practice self-care on a daily basis. Way number one is drink water first thing in the morning. Drinking a glass of water as you wake up after a long night's sleep, you wake up slightly dehydrated, which often means that you could be starting your day off feeling not so good. Way number two, write down five things every day that you're grateful for. No matter what happened throughout your day, if you were having a bad day, whatever the case may be, just write down five things that you are grateful for. Three, do yourself a favor, make a menu for the week. I know when my kids were younger, we were busy with soccer practice and cheerleading and basketball and football and all of the things that they were involved in during the school day. It was very much a part of my routine that every Sunday I did some meal prep and made meals ahead of time. We just were doing so many things during the week that it just became too much to cook day by day. So when I would cook, I would cook for multiple days at a time. Number four, try that new exercise class that you've been looking at, whether it's area yoga or some type of camp gladiator or some boxing class, whatever it is, try that new class. That'll help you get some exercise in and get some time alone to yourself for even just an hour. Five, take a new route to work. I know that sounds silly, but a lot of times when you go the same way every day, month after month, year after year, your brain is on autopilot. And so you're not actually actively engaged with your drive to work. You're on autopilot because your body and your mind knows the way. And so you get into a routine. So take a new route to work. Six. This one is one of my favorites. Have a dance party. Sometimes since I work from home, I will actually stop, take a break, turn on some music and just dance. My favorite is the 90s. They call it the rump shaker music, booty shaking music. So I put that on like Come on, ride the train and like all those songs from back in the 90s and just dance my life away. Just dance, dance, dance. Love that music. And again, having your mini dance party, you're getting some exercise. You're moving around, especially if you sit for long periods of time in your job. It's just fun. It gets those endorphins going and you're laughing and you're having a good time with just yourself. Number seven, take five minutes, 10 minutes, three minutes, one minute, whatever it is that you can muster up and just decompress from your day. Just sit and breathe and relax and just quiet down from your day. Join the movement and sign up for the 365 Days of Hearing God's Word Challenge. Check the show notes for all the details. Right now, it's time to get back to the episode. It's the Doing Business with God podcast with Michi Renee.